Welcome back to Living Local. Creating art isn't just a fun hobby. Studies show that it's also good for your health. Researchers have found that visual art activities improve well-being, increase positive emotion, reduce stress and anxiety, and enhance social networks. And you don't have to be a Picasso to reap the benefits. Melanie Vallejo, she's an artist at The Pot Shop, joins us in the studio to tell us more. So, Melanie, first of all, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. I appreciate it. So. What is your background and experience as an artist? Uh, well, I actually got started painting when my husband decided to be a professional paintball player. <laughs> so I decided if he could buy paint, I could buy paint, and that's how it got started. So Very I had to learn cool. how to do it. Yeah, so it was kind of self-taught then? Exactly. Okay, so what's the story behind the pot shop then? Okay. So while he was out uh, playing paintball, I was at home looking for something cheap mm -hmm. to start painting on, and I found flower pots. And so flower pots is what I would do, and as he came home, the girls in him from the paintball field, they'd ask if I was still in the pot shop painting flower pots. Uh -huh. So it, the name stuck, and no one forgets it. No kidding. It's a great name. Mm -hmm. Now, for the pot shop, you host mm -hmm. a variety of painting classes. I do. So what kinds do you offer? Thank you. Um, anything from canvas to wood. Um, I've done a lot of bridal parties where they come in and do wine glasses uh, for their wedding reception. So I have a couple of options on the table that I do. Um, this is one of the classes that I have coming up at the end of August. So it's a little welcome sign for fall. And then in September, I have the pumpkin class also coming up. Melanie's getting me all excited for fall and <laughs> Christmas because of all the wonderful examples that she brought in. Um, so yeah, you do things seasonally. You can mm -hmm. also do things catered to events like a wedding or a exactly. bachelorette party. Yeah. Um, so you, you mentioned a few of the groups that you can accommodate. How, sure. how, what's the number of groups and then what types of groups do you often accommodate? Sure. So I have a personal studio that I can hold up to 14 artists at one time. Um, I've also done them at breweries and went in and did some wine glass classes. Um, I've done them at him and Henry Hospital. They had a large group of about 30 people doing a breast cancer survivor class. Uh, so we've done pretty large groups. So if someone contacts you mm -hmm. um, and, and they'd love to have you host one of these painting sessions, mm -hmm. what sort of questions do you ask them to kind of set up the perfect event for them? Sure. So I do host two different types of parties. I put out parties myself so if somebody doesn't have another person that's interested in doing an art class I will put those out so an individual can sign up for those classes and then if you are want to host a party then I just kind of walk you through like what type of things do you want to work on do you want to do a canvas did you want to do a, you know, a wood class or a, a wine glass class and then I would talk you through you know different options that I have and the costs and based on that then, then we would come up with an option. Now does it, someone need to have a lot of experience with artwork before they do one of these classes? Absolutely <laughs> not. Um, just come with an open mind, have a lot of fun, bring your friends. Um, and like I said, I like to do a lot of individual coaching. That's why I don't do, you know, some of the larger classes. I like to be able to, you know, take a new artist and make them feel like that they've created something special for their home. So I do try to do the smaller classes so I can give that time. And Melanie, I noticed that a lot of the, these painting classes are becoming more popular. Mm -hmm. So what do you think sets yours apart and makes them unique? Um, some of the feedback that I've got is that you come in and I let you choose your color palette. So it's not that you just come in and these are the colors that we're going to use. I want it to go in your home. I want it to be something that you would display. So I think having those options and giving the gamut of colors is a good thing that I do. Again, having those smaller classes, that individual attention, um, I think is another thing that sets me apart. And I also understand that you create custom designs. So tell us more about that. I do. I do. Thank you. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I do out here is custom designed. Um, I'm starting to do door hangers for the different sporting events coming up for the schools. Uh, one of the things that probably made me feel the most fulfilled when I started doing this is I had a friend who had lost her nephew. Mm -hmm. And so she asked me to do a custom vase as a memorial. Um, and so I've done several of those over the years and that's probably what's touched me the most and, and fueled me to help others learn how to paint. Wow, that's a great way to Thank remember you. someone and to, a way to, that you can use your passion, which is art, to give back and, yeah. and help others through that. Um, why are you so passionate about sharing and teaching art? Sure. Um, part of it is my faith. I like to do a lot of things that revolve around um, my faith and be able to share that experience. But, it, you know, as you said at the beginning of the segment, it, it is very therapeutic for people to come in. It's a bonding experience for some people who haven't painted. Uh, you know, they, they go home feeling good about themselves. Mm -hmm. And that makes me feel good. Right. That's amazing. Now, personally, do you have any certain projects that you enjoy working on more than others or certain classes you enjoy hosting more than others? Um, 
you know, I think if I have to think about just an area that I like to do, um, I think the classes, probably teaching, mm -hmm. is my favorite. I've met a lot of wonderful people. I think we have some pictures mm -hmm. um, of the classes that I've done. I've been in touch with people that I probably never would have met. And, and I've had, uh, I do t-shirt designs. I've had them go all over the world um, doing mission trips. So that's been very fulfilling for me. Wow, sounds like you really make a lot of friends doing this. You do, you do. So if someone's interested in either dropping in a class or mm -hmm. hosting a class, how can they get that process started sure. with you? Um, I'm on Facebook, mm -hmm. so that's the easiest way, and I think we're going to put the link there. Um, but you can contact me through Facebook, and my phone number would be out there as well. Uh, so you could call me, and, and my classes that I host are out there to register on. Fantastic. And how long has the pot shop been around? Um, I started painting about 2001 and the pot shop's been around since 2005. Wonderful. So yeah. how has it evolved over the years? Oh, God. well, it went from my dining room table <laughs> to now, unfortunately, half my house. So all the people <laughs> out watching that know me um, know I have a very understanding family mm. that I have taken over quite a bit of our real estate in our home. <laughs> Wonderful. You can just blame the husband. You're like, this all started with your paintball. Exactly, and so you yes. have yourself to blame. Exactly. All right. No, that's so wonderful. Melanie, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, we sure appreciate you. it. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right, you guys, for more information, you can find the Pot Shop on Facebook. We'll also have these details posted on ourquadcities.com. More Living Local rolls on right after this break. Stay with us here on Channel 4.